Oh, he's taking a lot of line. Could have been a line gone in too. It's already almost to my green backing. Green backing right there. Yeah. We got a lot of perch flags, it's probably what this is, but I think an old white perch usually take a lot of line. He's right there. Oh. Well, whatever it is, it's small. I'm gonna say white perch. Some of the best eating fish right there. Not a real big one, probably a medium sized one I'd say, an average sized one, but very tasty. This guy's gonna hit the fry pan a little bit later, you'll see. And we have our lunch. Swallowed it, so when he's heading, this trap is our last trap out, heading towards deeper water, and we've got most of our traps upset in this cold. He's heading in that way, so hopefully he had some other ones with him. We'll get some more here. One thing about white perch, they don't stay in one place very long, so if you get, if you catch one, you want to get a bait on and get it right back down there because you might get another one. The way this one took so much line, more than likely if there was a school there, it's not here now anyway, but still it's always good to get it right back down there. Another flag here in the pool, oh, I just put a white perch on not too long ago. He's taking it into my back and I'm gonna guess, big white. Coming with me. Don't say you're telling me white. Oh, there's brown. There's brown. Pretty one, huh? What color is it at? Nice golden brown belly on it. Um, no, I'd say he's going to go 15 inches. But wow, this one's going to be perfect for the fry pan a little later. This one put up absolutely no fight. I could swear it was yellow perch. And didn't fight, didn't feel it until it got right underneath the hole. Look at that. Didn't have it swallowed. Hooked right in the bottom jaw. Good hook set. It's the thing a lot of times they don't swallow it, but if you keep steady pressure on the fish, you're gonna get them. Pretty fish. Very pretty fish. That is gonna even be more tastier. <laughs> 